Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, NCAA Final Four Edition. We'll talk about the NCAA Final Four later in the show. We're going to talk about Major League Baseball with the Philadelphia Phillies. We'll talk NHL with the Philadelphia Flyers and NBA with the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's talk about Major League Baseball with the Philadelphia Phillies first. Major League Baseball spring training has come to an end. Thursday starts a brand new season. It's a new season, a new beginning, everybody with a clean slate. The Philadelphia Phillies will open up their 2018 season at Atlanta on Thursday at SunTrust Park. And then they'll travel from Atlanta up to Queens to take on the New York Mets on Monday. And then their home opener is April 5th against the Miami Marlins in South Philadelphia. Here's the schedule we all know what to expect. The American League East will take on the National League East. The American League Central will take on the National League Central. The American League West will take on the National League West. That means we're going to have a freeway series between the LA Angels and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Bay Area series between the Oakland A's and the San Francisco Giants. You've got the Windy City showdown between the Chicago White Sox and the Chicago Cubs. And you've also got the Subway series between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. You got a Beltway series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Washington Nationals. Also, you've got the Turnpike Series. It's the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. All wise, here comes the judge. He's coming to Philadelphia. So that is your Major League Baseball schedule. Good luck to the Phillies. Let's get some wins and hopefully a possibility of going to the World Series this year. And more importantly, take the World Series trophy back to Broad Street like we had in February. Good luck to the Phillies, get some wins this year, win the division, and you're in business. Now let's talk about some hockey with the Philadelphia Flyers. Five games left to go in the season, and the Philadelphia Flyers have been playing very well as of late, and they've done a great job. They are in sixth place in the Eastern Conference. Now they have an opportunity to move up a place this week. On Wednesday, they'll be in Denver to take on the Colorado Avalanche. There's your win, and there's a possibility of 90 points. They'll take on the Boston Bruins on Sunday. There you go, there's your win, and you're going to earn yourself four more points for the week, 93. There's 93 points, and you're going to win a lot of games. So, plenty of time, one week to go, until the season ends, this is where the Flyers cannot mess up now. Now's the time to move up a place in the Eastern Conference. It's time to talk about NBA with the Philadelphia 76ers. Nine games left to go in the 2017-2018 NBA season. But we got some games this week for the Sixers. They will be taking on the New York Knicks on Wednesday. Sixers are going to have a winning game, and that's an easy win. There you go, you've got your 44th win of the season, and there's your 8th straight win. And, more importantly, they're going to be on the road for two games on the road. They'll be at Atlanta on Friday. And there you go, Philly fans, ninth straight win is coming. And they'll take on the Charlotte Hornets, and there you go, another win. That's 10 straight wins to close out the month of March and to start off the month of April. Good luck to the 76ers, get some wins this week, and move up a place in the Eastern Conference so you can improve. Now it's time to talk NCAA Final Four. Four teams left, who will go on to the National Championship? Let's talk about it right now. Starting off with Loyola of Chicago and Michigan. Now these two teams <clears throat> are meeting for the first time in San Antonio. Now. Who's going to take home the NCAA? Who will win the NCAA Final Four? But it's going to be hard. 
I'm going to say this. Michigan and Loyola of Chicago are going to play their best. I'm going to say Loyola of Chicago is going to win. I'm sorry, Michigan fans. Loyola of Chicago is coming in, and they are getting a win. You, Loyola is going to upset the Michigan Wolverines in San Antonio. And we got the battle of the number one seeds, Kansas and Villanova. We all know that the Villanova Wildcats played very well as the number one seed. Now, they are going to take on the Kansas Jayhawks, also a number one seed. This is the battle of the one seeds. But Villanova's going to win. Sorry, Kansas Jayhawk fans. You're not going to beat Nova. It's going to be Loyola Chicago and the city of Villanova is going to win. We're going to have a national championship between Loyola Chicago and Villanova. They're going to battle it out on Monday for the national championship. Good luck to all those teams, teams on Saturday, and we'll recap them next week. That is a wrap. Now remember to check out my radio show, Let's Talk Sports. It does air Saturday nights at 5 on Victory 1460 WIFI. And you can listen to my podcast through my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio, or you can listen to it through the podcast app. Talk to you soon. Keep those comments rolling. Have a great night. We'll talk to you next week.